All right, uh, so there's a list of theorems that might appear on the final exam for probability theory. So I'm going to prove them. The first theorem is the partition theorem, which says, uh, so let e sub i be a partition of your probability space omega. Then, for an event A in your sigma algebra F, uh, you have uh, the probability of A is equal to the sum in the chi of the probability of A given B sub i times the probability of B sub i. So that's the statement of the theorem. Uh, a partition, if you just think of your space. So if this is your space up here, a partition is just something like this. Uh, set such that the unions the whole space and none of them intersect. So that's partition theorem, that's a statement. Uh, let's prove it. So, true. Uh, we know the probability of A. That is equal to the probability of A intersect omega. Now, this is equal to, well, B i is a partition of omega, so the union of the Bi's is equal to omega. So this is the probability of A intersect the union of the B sub i's. Now, this is equal to, because you can uh, distribute the intersection, the probability of A, uh, no, probability of the union of A intersect B sub i. Now, we have a probability of a union of events. But so all the B sub i's are disjoint. Therefore, these are disjoint events. So when we have a union of disjoint events, we can write it as the sum of the individual probabilities. Well, what is A intersect B sub I? Well, that is just equal to uh, probability A given B sub I times the probability of B sub I. Uh, you get that because the uh, probability of A given B I is equal to the probability of A intersect B sub I over probability of B sub I. So when you multiply it by that probability, you get that the intersection is equal to this. So you can just substitute. And yeah, that's for partition theorem. 